Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. What is it that gets you up in the morning and gets you excited? What do you want to do as a kid? How would you really go and make an impact on the world? For me, the world's biggest problems are the world's biggest business opportunities. You want to become a billionaire, help a billion people. There is nothing we cannot do. It's really a matter of setting a focus goal, picking a target, and then picking the steps along the way, and realizing that all the resources, all the capital, all the expertise is there. But ultimately, it's only gonna be tapped if that target is in your heart and your soul. is the most astounding fact you can share with us about the universe? The most astounding fact. The most astounding fact. Is the knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up. Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars. There's a level of connectivity. That's really what you want in life. You want to feel connected. You want to feel relevant. You want to feel like a, you're a participant in the goings-on of activities and events around you. That's precisely what we are, just by being alive. And one friend affirmatively, it will be an entire nation.
But why some say the move? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others do. We shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston, a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses, several times more than have ever been experienced, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch.
what is it that gets you up in the morning and gets you excited? What do you want to do as a kid? How would you really go and make an impact on the world? For me, the world's biggest problems are the world's biggest business opportunities. You want to become a billionaire, help a billion people. There is nothing we cannot do. It's really a matter of setting a focus goal, picking a target, and then picking the steps along the way, and realizing that all the resources, all the capital, all the expertise is there. But ultimately, it's only gonna be tapped if that target is in your heart and your soul. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission. To explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.